Hi, I'm Joe, and this lesson is going to cover some introduction to Boolean algebra. So we're going to start with the not, and, and or gates. So Boolean algebra uses ones and zeros to represent data. So a zero can be considered false or off. A one can be true or on. So there's basically just two states or two values that a uh, number can have. So let's start with a NOT gate. The NOT gate is represented like this graphically, a triangle with a dot on the end. We're going to use A for the input and Q for the output. So when we put in a 0, what a NOT gate does is outputs a 1. And when we put in a 1, a NOT gate outputs a 0. It also can be called an inverter because it switches whatever the bit is. It gives you the opposite output. So when we write this in a Boolean equation, we write it like this. Q equals A not, or Q equals not A. The bar over the A means the inversion of the A, or the opposite of A. Next we'll cover the AND gate. An AND gate takes two or more inputs. In our example here, we're going to show with two inputs. A and B, and gives one output, which we'll use Q to refer to the output. So when we put in two zeros, we're going to get out a zero. Why? Because zero and zero is zero. The only way we're going to get a positive output from this is if we input two ones. So if we input zero and one, we still get a zero output. One and zero, we still get a zero output. The only way to get a one out of Q is if we put 1 for A and 1 for B on the input side. That's the AND function. So we write this in Boolean algebra in equation form as Q equals A dot B, or a, Q equals A times B. The AND function is sometimes referred to as Boolean multiplication. You can also have three inputs, as I said, for an AND gate. And it works the same way. If you have all three ones, you will get a one output. But if any of the inputs is a zero, then the output will be zero. So you can see if we have two ones and a zero for input, we still get a zero output. Only when all three inputs are one, we get a one for output. Uh, one more quick note on notation. Sometimes the A dot B you'll see written as just AB. Next we'll cover the OR gate. An OR gate can have two or more inputs. Our example here will show with two inputs, A and B, and one output, Q. So when we input two zeros, we get a zero output. Q will be positive, or one, whenever either A or B is one. So that means that 0, 1 will give us a 1 output, 1, 0 will give us 1 output, and 1, 1 will give us 1 output. So we write this in Boolean equation form as Q equals A plus B. Plus means OR. Q equals A or B. Again, the OR, like AND, can have three inputs or more. So 0, 1, 1 will give us 1. As long as any of the inputs is a 1, the output will be a 1. That's what OR means. So if we input 1, 0, 0, we'll still get a 1 output. Only when all three inputs are 0, we get a 0 output. So in summary, the NOT gate with an inverter. Here's the symbol for the NOT gate. It's written as this, A bar or A NOT and it takes basically the opposite of A. It takes only one input and inverts it to the opposite. AND gate, written as A dot B or just AB, is only one when A and B, or all inputs, are one. And the OR gate is one anytime any of the inputs is one. That concludes our first lesson on Boolean algebra. I'm Joe, thank you for watching.